This is, in my opinion, one of the biggest controversies and letdowns in gaming in a long time. Yesterday, Rockstar Games, the company best known for Red Dead Redemption 1, 2, GTA, all that good stuff, you all know who Rockstar Games is, have just announced that Red Dead is coming to PS4 and Nintendo Switch later this month on August 17th. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh my god, we've been wanting the Red Dead remake for a long time. This is crazy. It's going to be like Red Dead 2 all over again. This game is nostalgic for so many people. But hold on. Because this game is not actually a remake at all. It is almost a full price port. It's a port. It's a slight remaster. It's the same game with a touch on the graphics and nothing else. They did release a trailer for this, so we are going to watch the trailer right now, and I'm going to kind of explain to you guys why this is actually such a big controversy and why this is not a good idea for developers to do, and it's just honestly a big letdown, but first, let's get into the trailer. Okay, here's the trailer. Um, Red Dead Redemption and Undead Nightmare, so it's a bundle. Lucky us for full price. Uh, yeah, it's a minute long. Let's get straight into it. My name's John Marston. Here to bring two men to justice. Bill Williamson. I mean, it just looks the same. Javier Esquela. I know one thing, Senor Marston. If you are to have your own way, force must be used. I can't help but think that, like, it looks Find good. But I'm a fan of Red Dead. It still looks like, like a PS3 so. game. We're doing well. Let's try to ensure things stay that way. <laughs> No texture updates. I think it's just a ball. Well, again, John, we gotta stop meeting like this. Mad, <laughs> mad spoilers for those that haven't played it as well. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yep. One Dead Nightmare. Okay, yeah, see, this is why it's just a massive problem, guys. Like, it's just a big problem. I, I don't like to be negative and stuff like that. But it's just a port. We've been asking for the remake for so long. Why are developers and companies not listening to the fans that are making the money? Red Dead 2 was one of the most successful games ever. It's easily in my top three games of all time. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And it's just a shame that th we're getting things like this instead of remakes, you know? I mean, here we go. We're on uh, Push Square's website. Shout out Push Square. Um, right now, it's saying... Uh, Let's see, yeah, Red Dead Undead Nightmare will be bundled in. It's a mere port of the original game. Um, while it was rumored this um, new version is not a remaster or remake, there is a new trailer, which you can view above, which we just saw. All single-player content from the original game and Undead Nightmare, as well as more bonus content from the Game of the Year edition. So it's just the Game of the Year edition. Uh, no multiplayer included, so we don't even get that multiplayer thing, that nostalgia. I love the multiplayer in Red Dead 1. Didn't play it as much in Red Dead 2, but that is what it is. Um... While the digital PS4 version is available on the 17th, for $49.99. That's crazy. $49.99 for a port. That's it's absolutely insane. I, I I won't be getting this. It's absolutely, it's just crazy. And I think that the real problem around this entire thing is developers and studios just not doing what the fans want. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't expect them to just give us everything that we want. I know there has to be some kind of leniency. Developers have got to meet quotas and stuff like that. I understand this. However, do you know how much money they will make with a Red Dead Redemption remake? That will go absolutely insane. It's the single thing. I see it all the time on Twitter. People raving about it. It's absolutely insane. And if you're going to give us a port instead of that, then at least, uh, you know, make it free. Make it free. The game is old as hell, all right? We're not getting anything new. It's the game of the year edition. They've done practically nothing. They've just made it playable on different consoles. It's playable on the Switch, all right? I know that, you know, don't get me wrong. The Switch is great, but it's playable on the Switch. That's how much I, 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 can, I can talk about this all day. So yeah, I don't know, guys. Are you going to be playing this? Are you going to get this? If it was a remake, because when I first saw the announcement, I was like, oh my god, I was sweating. I was like, yes, this is exactly what we wanted. But no, it's just a remake. I, I just, it's not a remake. Sorry, I just can't be, I can't be bothered with games just kind of taking advantage of people like this, especially Rockstar. You know, Rockstar, this massively successful company. Yeah, I know they fumbled the GTA remakes now uh, or remasters, I should say. Um, now they haven't done this. What are they planning? Is GTA 6 that wild that they need to port a game that is like almost as old as me um, and basically just steal people's money for a game that's from PS3 era without any updates? Like, what is this? So yeah, anyway, we're done with that, guys. My advice, 
don't bother getting this game. It's not a remake. It's like, yeah, if you're really dying from the nostalgia, wait for it to go on sale. It'll be on sale super quick. I just know it because this game, I think, is going to flop. People are already up in arms about it. Twitter's going crazy. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, please subscribe. 66% of my viewers aren't subscribed, so please do that if you do enjoy the content. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video and comment. Let me know. What do you guys think about this? It is controversial, so I am curious to know your opinions. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.